Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast for the Northeast. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrient Ag Solutions. Checking out temperatures across the region, we have a contrast as you head from north to south. Cool and less humid 50s and 60s across northern portions of the Northeast. Warm and muggy, though, as you head into southeastern portions of Pennsylvania, eastward into New Jersey, already in the low 70s with dew points muggy in the upper 60s as well across that region. So uh, depending on where you are, north to south, a very pleasant autumn-like start to the day or a very summer August-like start to the day. Now, as we take a look at the radar or the, the satellite picture here with the lightning flashes overlaid, we've got scattered storms along a front here across parts of Pennsylvania into New York State. We can see it a little better as we look at the radar picture. Again, just some clusters of storms here kind of uh, accompanying a storm system moving through the area, scattered rain and thunderstorms through the day today. No advisories in effect right now unless you head off to the south across parts of New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, where we still have some flash flood watches in effect there. Some very soggy soil with some of these storms moving over there, leading to some localized flooding issues. As you look at, look at the uh, severe weather forecast over the next three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No real severe weather risk across the Northeast. We have a general risk for some thunderstorms, especially across parts of Pennsylvania and New York State as we head into early next week. As we look at the precipitation forecast, again, a tongue of precipitation or a tongue of higher precip here pushing into parts of the Northeast here across parts of Pennsylvania and central New York State with drier conditions expected off to the North and East. Parts of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, ugh, Massachusetts. There we go. Northward into New Hampshire, Vermont and Maine. A little bit on the drier side as we head into the weekend and next week. Now, as we look at the drought monitor compared with our precipitation forecast, our big problem area as far as uh, ag goes in the central and eastern U.S. right now, all eyes on west central Iowa. We had some dryness expanding into the eastern Corn Belt, parts of Pennsylvania and New York, and we still have that, stage zero and one, uh, abnormally dry and some moderate drought in places, and we'll likely bring some precipitation into some of these regions even as we head into the next seven days. So teetering on the dry line here across parts of the northeast, and we may see some of that worsening off to the north and to the east as we head through another dry week, but uh, no alarming areas of drought yet across the northeast. And as we look at the European and the GFS ensemble forecast, probability of half an inch or more, you can look down to the bottom and pick out the color scale. You see that deep red across Pennsylvania and New York. We've got an 80 to 90% chance of picking up at least a half an inch of rain. But again, you head north and east into New Hampshire and Vermont and Maine, uh, Massachusetts, coastal areas here, Connecticut and Rhode Island, a much lower chance here of significant precipitation as we head through the next seven days. As we look at the upper level pattern, we're looking at 500 millibar height and vorticity. Again, you can kind of follow the jet stream right here. We've got our little trough, a little system. You see the, the shading there moving through the northeast. That's what's kicking off the thunderstorm activity today, uh, ongoing this morning. Our next big powerful system is over here in the, the Canadian prairie today. That's going to ride over the top of our ridge here. Again, you can follow the height lines over the top of that ridge. This is going to drag a cold front as it makes its way through. So as we just put this into motion, you can see that all ongoing. We'll take the drawings off here. Watching this next system coming through the prairie, bringing a, a cold front along with it, first through the Midwest Monday and Tuesday. And then this is going to start to move into the Northeast as we get into midweek. And this will bring a renewed chance for some showers and storms as this big system makes its way through with a front stalled back across the central plains into the, uh, the northern plains. We'll see disturbances moving along again over the top of our ridge. A little ridge riding disturbances interacting with that stalled frontal boundary. That's going to bring the chance for uh, showers and storms across the eastern Corn Belt in a big way as we head into the middle part of the week uh, with those uh, eventually potentially shifting into the northeast as we get into the end of the week and see another storm system making its way through. So we're looking at the, uh, the moisture content within the atmosphere here, precipitable water. As we get started, much drier, cooler air spilling into this eastern Corn Belt into uh, parts of the northeast here uh, with humid air being drawn back from the central plains or from the, the Gulf of Mexico into the central plains. And eventually this will be pivoting back into the eastern Corn Belt. You can watch it here following this system moving from west to east there, bringing a much more muggy air mass into the northeast as we get into early next week uh, with humidity back into the uncomfortable range as we head into the early to middle part of next week. So let's look at the high resolution NAM models precipitation forecast as we head through the weekend. Again, watching scattered thunderstorms for much of the day today across Pennsylvania and New York hit or miss as we uh, head through the morning hours into the evening hours as this disturbance moves from west to east as we head into Saturday looking for just widely isolated shower and storm activity potentially more widespread as we head into Sunday and see a frontal boundary move through the region so total precipitation between now and Sunday afternoon 
heaviest where we see the thunderstorm activity going on right now into this afternoon across parts of Pennsylvania and New York. Elsewhere, light hit or miss precipitation expected. Now, as we head a little bit deeper into the week, we'll look at the European model. First, looking at today's precipitation, again, primarily across Pennsylvania and New York in the form of some scattered showers and storms. This disturbance moves off as we head into Saturday, but still some widely isolated shower activity possible on the backside. Sunday, we see our next frontal boundary beginning to approach from the west, likely going to be on the drier side Sunday, with precipitation chances increasing as we head into the early part of next week. So we're looking at this will be another mostly dry Monday. That frontal boundary in the east or the west moves into the, the northeast here as we get into Tuesday. This will be our next best chance for some scattered storm activity that could then linger depending on where this frontal boundary stalls uh, as we that could keep thunderstorm activity in the forecast here as we head deeper into the middle and late part of next week. So good chance for some storms across Pennsylvania and New York today. Slightly lower chance for lighter hit or miss activity on Saturday. Dry Sunday, Monday with precipitation chances increasing as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Total precipitation raw output from the operational models here, European on the left, GFS on the right. We see pretty, pretty good agreement with the pattern here. The details are a little bit different, but both have uh, you know the heaviest precipitation across the state of Pennsylvania into New York. That's where we've got the best opportunity for more widespread significant rainfall pushing above half an inch to maybe an inch or so of rain with much lighter hit or miss activity as you head northward across New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. We'll finish then with a look at our high temperatures then for the next five days. Again, on the cool side today, but warming up slightly as we head into the weekend. Mid 80s back for just about everyone on Sunday with upper 80s to near 90s on Monday and Tuesday. We bring our frontal boundary in though on Wednesday that will reset temperatures back about closer to where they should be with mid 80s holding on across the region. Potential for another warm up as we head into uh, next weekend. So the very cool air across the region going to be short lived as we head into the next part of the, the, the coming week as we kind of revert back to a much more typical summer pattern. Have a great day, a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you all again on Monday morning.